The second trial is called steroid for cornea ulcer trial. Sometimes we, we are afraid to give steroids for patients who have infective keratitis. Specifically, patients who have bacterial keratitis, as, as we all know, patients with herpetic or fungal or acanthamoebic keratitis, steroids are contraindicated. So, is it also, only, uh, also contraindicated for patients with uh, bacterial keratitis? So, here we go for the CIS study. It was conducted to study the effect of topical steroids in the bacterial keratitis. Should we give these patients topical, keratitis, uh, topical steroids or not? Inclusion criteria for these patients, the patients should have positive bacterial culture and they should receive the antibiotics for more than 24 hours. So we don't give the steroid from the start. And exclusion of corneal perforation or impending perforation and other causes of infective keratitis other than the bacteria. So for this study, all patients receive the one drop of moxifloxacillin every one hour until while they are awake in the first 48 hours. Then after uh, after 48 hours, they receive every two hours. So it was first uh, one hour, then every two hours until complete re-epithelialization, then four times daily. Then it uh, will be uh, from the uh, from the day of enrollment for three weeks. So this was the regimen, one hour every hour for 48 hours, then every two hours until the epithelialization, then four times per day. This is the dose of moxifloxacillin or the antibiotics. So after this, the, uh, the, the, the treatment regimen of the study drugs was the, the topical steroid. The topical steroids has been given as one drop uh, four times per day daily, one drop uh, four times daily, then for one week, then it was uh, gradually withdrawn to be twice daily for one week, then gradually withdrawn to be once daily for one week. And the, the study was a, 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 compared between both groups in the term of visual acuity and the size of the corneal scars and the infiltrate and the risk of corneal perforation. So for the placebo group and the topical steroid group, they were randomized and compared after three months and after 12 months. After three months, there were no difference in the best corrective visual acuity between both groups. Both groups show the, the same average size of ulcer and the infiltration. So topical steroids didn't cause much increase in the infiltration size or ulcer. And there were no risk of cornea perforation or no much added risk of cornea perforation in topical steroids group over the placebo group. This was the case except for the severe ulcers. So for severe ulcers where the patients have visual acuity of about hand motion or less, or they have a central dense ulcer or dense, dense central infiltration, these patients show a benefit from topical steroids. These patients show that the topical steroids decrease inflammation and, uh, and decrease the infiltration size and it was much better, uh, best corrected visual acuity. After 12 months, the, the striking feature here that after 12 months, there was one line improvement in the best corrected visual acuity in the steroid group, whether they are severe or moderate or mild ulcer. In all types of ulcers, where there was one line of best corrected visual acuity in the topical steroids over the placebo. This was the case for all causative organisms that cause all types of ulcers except for ulcers caused by the nocardia. Ulcers by, caused by nocardia didn't show that the same promising result of improving of one line of visual acuity. So from the SCAT trial, we concluded that the topical steroids did not improve the vision in the three months, except in cases of severe cases or severe ulcers. Also, the topical steroids it did improve the long-term clinical outcome in the patients who have bacterial corneal ulcer, but with the exception of the nocardia species. So ulcers with nocardia didn't show the final uh, good visual outcome of one year of improvement of one line. Next. 
Is it clear? Okay. <clears throat> 